that gives nothing in return. So those things in our past, the things that we have done, we can't let it suck the life out of us and not give anything in return. The Lord works for good all of the things that we have done bad. So all those things he's going to use, he can use. That's how big he is. That's how mighty he is. That's how powerful he is. It's not for nothing. It's not for nothing the Lord is going to use it. The things that you may be embarrassed to speak about, the things that you won't tell anybody, the Lord can use it. Maybe you don't have to tell anybody, but you can still minister to somebody. You will be able to recognize it. Sometimes I'll speak to a woman or, or somebody, just anybody, and I will recognize in them the same things that I have gone through. And maybe I won't say Jesus one time to them when I speak to them, but I know how to speak to them because I can recognize what they've been through. And the same for you. Maybe you don't have to tell everybody your story, but you can be able to minister and, and you'll recognize that in them and know what they need to hear. You'll know what they need to hear because somebody told it to you. So that's the way we can encourage each other, especially as women. He really wants to encourage the women in this hour. He really wants us to be strengthened for our walk. I don't know what it is, but, but remember women, they can strengthen men. They can strengthen families. We have a lot of responsibility. The Lord has given us these things for a reason. Because because we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to grow up our kids. And it's never too late. <laughs> because even if, even if you just became saved and they're already teenagers, the way that you live your life can still speak volumes to them. So we have a great responsibility. He has given women a gift to pray. Many intercessors in the faith are women. That's a gift that he gave to us. Yes. 